Fora TV. The world is thinking. Well, there was a, a, a wonderful piece of legislation passed. Uh, you don't use the word wonderful with legislation all that often, but um, just, just in the last few weeks uh, called the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, or GINA. And this has been 10 years or longer in the making. It actually, when it, when it goes into effect in a year or so, uh, will protect us people, anyone who uses uh, or has genetic information, uh, insurance companies and employers cannot use that information uh, to discriminate. It's not an entirely airtight law, and people, as they begin to parse it out, are finding some loopholes there, but that, that was an important piece of legislation. And it was driven, in part, by the sudden appearance of these online companies. And it's interesting how this languished. Uh, it was actually passed by uh, the House of Representatives twice in the last two Congresses, not passed by the Senate. Um, I'm sorry, it's the other way around. The Senate passed it, and the House did not. But, but it's fair to say that there wasn't a lot of pressure on Congress to pass this. Uh, with the advent of these new companies and suddenly having consumers having this information. And I, I didn't mention privacy in my remarks, but um, obviously anybody who's thinking about being tested, including the person that asked that question, um, you know, you're concerned about who's going to get this information. And it goes way beyond that, by the way. You know, I mean, do you want a potential um, lover? to find this information? Do you, do you want someone you're, you know, if you're going to date someone or marry them, you know, do you want, you know, can you, you want to secretly test them? Uh, the government, by the way, is not covered under this law. They can test you. Um, you know, law enforcement made sure that that wasn't in there, and that's a very controversial area, too. Um, we're finding all kinds of people that were uh, innocent people that were incarcerated um, and were freed on DNA evidence. But what we're not hearing so much about is, especially in Europe, uh, they're collecting the DNA of millions and millions of people. Anybody who basically walks into a police station, practically, if you're arrested uh, and then freed, um, in some cases, including in Britain, uh, they're talking about trying to genotype, as they call it, everyone. And, you know, we got to all stop and think for a minute. We don't even have ID cards in this country. Uh, you know, we've al always been uh, against that. But you may have your DNA on file somewhere. And... Even if one of your siblings or someone in your family has it, you know, they have enough material on you, uh, you know, to, to come back and, and find you. Um, but these are issues that are going to be coming into the forefront as you're able to be tested.